Alright guys, last couple days of the season, so we can finally get uh, spring here, and then we can get the crops growing again, and uh, we only have like one or two days left, so. Uh, I think it's actually night now, so we'll probably have like more or less one more day, so it's not too bad. Alright, so and a few other things that I want to do is get some more of this uh, mined out, but we do need to get some of this mined out as well, so. But it's like snowing right now, so I, didn't, I don't want to put anyone outside. <laughs> it's kind of like really cold. Everyone's pretty much going to bed, I think, anyways, so. I don't know. We can probably set it up for tomorrow, I guess. Uh, we'll start with, I guess, probably around here. We'll just get them to start mining this out. And hopefully we'll be able to put our tree farm over here uh, indefinitely. So um, our cows are still doing good. Uh, this one looks like it's might have grown up. Can't tell. Can't really click on it for some reason. There we go. Must have been just the fence. All right. So still young. Still young. Alrighty then. So we'll fast forward through the night. I think some people are just coming in with some uh, resources. There's some boars and deers and stuff out here. Okay, perfect. So last episode we worked on the uh, church. And it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the design. There's a couple spots above that we can place some beds and stuff. You know, she still keeps going to this bed. I'm not sure if this is a bug or what, but she keeps going there for some reason. And I've selected this bed before and I've even deselected this one, but it keeps enabling for some reason. And it was the first bed that she ended up getting, so maybe this will help. And if not, then we'll just... Well, we have to move these beds anyways, so... And we'll set up that other bed... Um, in the church, just in case there's a new settler. And I think what we'll do is we'll put it kind of on the side here.
right, so I started uh, getting them to garden so we can start getting the crops and stuff like that all set up and hopefully we'll have um, everything on schedule. We don't have that large of a farm, tell you the truth, not compared to what I had on my other saves, so um, it should be pretty easy to manage for sure, so like the flax is already done, so. And we got the barley here that needs to be done still, and some other things, but, you know, they'll, they'll work on it. There's not enough seeds for that one, so I can't really um, do that. Let's uh, take a look at that traveler. Uh, it looks like they have a wolf and a female dog. Yes. I wonder how much that female dog's worth. We have a male one, I think. I don't know how old it is. Two years. So if we want to start breeding them, that would be the this would be the time to do it. Um, I'm not sure what kind of resources we have that we can actually trade. I did purchase some gold coins, 50 of them. Um, so we might be able to get away with some of that, but. Honestly, I don't know if we're going to have enough money for that or not, but um, we'll see what we can come up with. I'm sure I can probably sell some of the herbs from last year or some of this tallow. Quite a bit of tallow. 100 tallow. That's going to spoil actually pretty soon. Well, not really soon, but we got resources. We can either sell the tello or the um, herbs, either or. Both are medical supplies, so. Okay, so there was. I did tell them to commission a bow. So we can get one of our settlers equipped. And I don't think we'll be able to trade the bows uh, just yet, either. So. Um, that's why I'm not worrying about that. You have to be a pretty high level in order, like, with the rep with that particular settlement uh, or faction in order to be able to sell weapons. Um, or, I think, armor as well. Uh, though clothes, um, hats, things like that. Not so much the helmets, but the hats uh, you can generally sell. So we have options. But, um, we also have a lot of the other clothes laying around we might be able to get rid of as well. Some of these aren't that great, but it's
Alright, day three of spring. So, I'm going to start building a path down towards the front gate. I think that will probably do well. Uh, eventually, what we're going to have to do is probably move North's house here. But, um, I, I did discover that the beds just simply, um have a hard time being like people keep thinking that it's their own beds for the straight straw ones which is really odd for some reason because I don't ever remember having that so it's probably a bug um, I just don't know if it's been reported or not and um, it, it just seems like they randomly target lower tier beds even though that there's entire rooms built for them that are better quality which is little bit odd. I'm not sure if that's intended or not though, so if it is a bug, then it's like... I don't know, but I haven't reported it yet, so it's pretty... it seems pretty obvious, so I... I'm sure the developers probably are aware of it, but I don't know. I'll just let it be its thing. Um, if not, then I'll mention something on... Um, the going medieval uh, discord server uh, later today anyhow uh, yeah so we got uh, I don't know how much cobblestone do we have left we have 69 all right so basically what my end goal is to bring this all the way down to the front gate I know that it's gonna be a little off centered uh, from the location that the door is but that's kind of where we have to go because that's where we built our structures around so I'm gonna use up what we can for this uh, limestone Let's see if we can't mine some more of that now that we can see it and oh good they got all that um, cleaned up perfect all right so we can actually start mining on this side uh, all of that perfect and once we clear out this area, then we can start focusing on putting in a wall here. At least for the time being. Actually, you know what? It doesn't seem like we really need one. There's not like there's any ramp that goes up to that part, so... It should be fine for the moment. Um, you know, if we decide to mine that out, then we can put a wall in first. And then we'll be at least <laughs> a little bit more secure. But, uh, yeah, I told them to start uh, planting these uh, trees, so... Though they should be, we should have quite a bit of wood pretty soon for that as well. Um, that's right, we'll harvest these up. And our farm, as far as I know, is fully f uh, ready for um, it to be grown. Uh, there, we don't have enough carrots. Right, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got uh, some stuff planted. We got um, 
big chunk of the area mined out, which is great. So we're going to have a lot more room. I think we'll probably end up doing something very similar with this, uh, where we mine out the area. And I think that might be the best approach because then we're, we have more room to build, especially this way. Uh, we have all that space over here that we can basically build to. So I generally like leaving a little bit of a buffer zone around um, the place. Not an entire amount. I don't like measure it or anything like that, but um, you know, just enough to know that if the settler has to kind of run around, they have some room to do that. So we'll probably build, if anything, up to about here and bring it that way. But um, at the moment, uh, we're going to be mining out this. We're going to get a lot of uh, limestone from, or yeah, limestone from that. I almost called it the cobblestone again. And um, there are some other ores around here by the looks of it. There's some gold right there, coal, um, a lot of clay in this area. I've also told them to mine out this clay here. Uh, we'll mine out that later on and replace it with dirt. Um, just so it's a little bit easier. We have... We should have quite a bit of dirt, actually. Yeah, we have tons of dirt, so we can start replacing some of the uh, clay parts that we have. I don't think we have many of them just yet, just in this area mainly, but, you know, we'll we'll see what we can come up with. Um, but outside of that, uh, yeah, we got that done. I hunted a whole bunch of wolves. I think I got most of them. I'm not sure if any more spawned. We have some foxes, a hare. Actually, I need to get an achievement. It's like the last achievement for this game that I need is to hunt a whole bunch of hares, but most likely it won't be around for next episode. Foxes are probably already on it. Uh, oh, foxes are sleeping, actually. Um, you know what? I'm going to tell them to go hunt that really quickly, and then by next episode, we should be able to get at least that here. Anyhow, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.